Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to delete all files from the current directory or folder on Linux. I'm running Ubuntu, but the rm command we're going to use to delete files is available on many other types of Linux operating systems. I'm going to use the cd command repeatedly to change directory to my mongo log folder. Now I'm going to run the ls command to output all of the files in that directory. So we're going to delete all of these files. I'm going to use the rm command, which is an abbreviation of one word, remove. And I'm going to use the star, which in this case is going to be used as a wildcard character, and it will select all of the files. You can specify a specific file name you want to delete, but I've just ran the delete command on all of them. Now, as you can see, I also ran the ls command, and none of those files are no longer available because they have been removed with the rm star command. Now the rm command by itself does not remove folders or hidden files. So to remove folders you also need to specify the rf flag. Here I use file name but it should actually be a folder name or you can simply use the star character. Now the rf here does not stand for remove folder. It stands for recursive and force. And what it all comes down to is you force remove folders and files recursively. And remember, whatever you do, do not run rmrf in your home directory. It's going to start deleting every single file in your root directory. Now the rm command also has a bunch of other flags. You can find out what they are by typing rm-help. The RF flag is actually a combination of two flags, which is F for forcing to remove the file or directory, and R for doing it recursively. A lot of people confuse it with remove folder, but that's not what it stands for. You can also use the full name of the flag, such as dash dash force or dash dash recursive to the same effect. Now, if you want to delete, let's say five files, but you want to keep one and the fastest way to do that would be to add the i flag to your rm command this will prompt you every time asking you if you actually want to delete that file you can also use dash capital i to prompt once before removing more than three files or when removing recursively and basically it's just less intrusive than dash lowercase i. I read that directly from the help file, but basically what that means is if you have like hundreds and hundreds of files, if you use dash uppercase i, it's not going to ask you too many times to delete every single file. It's, you're going to see the message a lot less often. You can also use the no preserve root flag, which as it says here, do not treat the root folders specially. One of the use cases for this is removing everything from a hard drive. Again, do not use anything like this in your home directory on your Linux operating system, which would remove all files in home directory. We already talked about the R flag, which is for removing directories and their contents recursively. Now, the next one is the dash D, which is for removing empty directories which can be useful sometimes. Using the V flag, every time this file is deleted, it's actually going to output to the console that it has been deleted it, or any other errors. The dash dash help is this output we're looking at right now. Now, it's important to note that by default, RM does not remove directories, which is why for the most part, we'll be using dash dash recursive or dash R or dash R uppercase to remove each listed directory along with all of its contents. Now you might encounter this special case where your file is actually starting with a dash, but we're using dash for flags, so what do we do? So you're going to use dash dash followed by your file name that also starts with a dash. So it doesn't interpret it as a flag, but rather than an actual file name. Or if for some reason it's not possible, use the dot slash followed by your file name. Now also remember that using RM does not actually physically delete the bytes of that file from your system. And it's still possible to recover with a file recovery system. 
if you want to fully disintegrate the file you should probably use another command called shred and here I'm going to use shred dash dash help to check out all of the different flags that it allows now shred does not guarantee destroying the file completely either but it's a much safer solution if you actually want to wipe out the traces of the file completely now I'm not going to go into all of the details of shred to delete or remove all files from the current directory you can take a look at that yourself but again it's a much safer option than RM and I'm sure that all of the super secret files on your operating system deserve to be shredded completely without a trace.